I don't want to disturb your listeners who are going to go to bed after watching you, but I think we're three steps from war with Russia. I'm trying to get the attention of unwise lawmakers, both in Moscow and in, in, in Washington and Europe. Go I ahead. can't tell you how serious this is. Here's the Kiev Post, the English-speaking newspaper in Ukraine, with this headline. General Dempsey says that the U.S. is ready for military response to Russia if Crimean conflict escalates. This was posted yesterday. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the United States General Martin Dempsey, has claimed that in the case of an escalation of unrest in Crimea, the U.S. Army is ready to back up Ukraine and its allies in Europe with military action. According to the website of the Atlantic Council, Dempsey said that he's been talking to his military counterparts in Russia, but he's also sending a clear message to Ukraine and members of NATO that the U.S. military will respond militarily if necessary. We turn to all of you now. I think this is absolutely incredible. You've got a project for the New American Century, neoconservatives, Victoria Newland and Robert Kagan have been meddling in Ukraine. President Obama was supposed to be different from the neocon administration of George W. Bush. Obviously he's not. We're taking us to the brink of World War III with what you just mentioned about militarily in intervening in Ukraine. And Victoria Newland was meddling in there. You can hear the wiretap that came out. Why doesn't C Stan talk about how she is married to the neoconservative Robert Kagan, who's with the Project for the New American Century, and go to ushijack.com for more. America better wake up to the neocon hijacking of our government. Let's hear from Rachel next in California, independent caller. This is going to be very dangerous. We should stay out of it. George Washington warned us to stay out of foreign entanglements, and we're playing a very dangerous game. We get into World War III, and you can go and on top of ushijacked.com. Okay, so Rachel, is that where you're getting this information? I'm getting it through there, and, and also The Guardian, and also Press TV, and also RT, and also Al Jazeera. Okay. All right. Rachel in, uh, Cal in California. Mm -hmm. Do you have any response to what she had to say, her, her sentiments there? Mm, not really. I, I think there's a sep lot of separate issues she talked about yeah. there, from Iran to Syria to Russia. So. I mean, do you see, is there any connection between what we're saying and what we're doing and, and thinking about doing in, in Russia and the situation there with Syria and Israel and Iran? Uh, the only thing I would say is there is the connection, obviously, in that we've been uh, working with uh, Putin in order to try to alleviate some of the, the chemical warfare situations, chemical weapons in Syria. And uh, um, certainly there is some potential implications in how we deal with Syria and Iran if uh, we sever relationships with Putin as a result of the Ukraine. So that is something to consider in the whole scheme of the, the situation. I'm a Republican, but I'm about ready to leave the party. It's, uh, it's too neocon for me. I'm, I'm going to register as an independent. I heard your <laughs> earlier two calls in the prior segments. I'd like to educate your uh, congresswoman there. Uh, does she know about the uh, project for the new American century and how Victoria Newland, who's in Obama's State Department, uh, was working for Dick Cheney, who's a godfather of those neoconservatives, and she was over there meddling in Ukraine for these neoconservatives who've had an agenda for Russia forever? I, I heard the website that was mentioned in earlier segments, ushijack.com. I so suggest Tim, she goes there. So, Tim, um, you, you think that, that this is an effort by so-called neocons to go to war with Russia? Of course it is. Okay, well, then let's have, let's have the congresswoman respond. Well, I've actually uh, been working with the State Department and Assistant Secretary Newland to try to find diplomatic means to mobilize the nations of the world. I found her very responsive. Um, and uh, on that front, Secretary Kerry uh, is uh, working overtime on um, that very effort. So um, I uh, think that war with Russia would not be in Russia's interest nor in the interests of our country. You've also got NGOs, as writer Paul Craig Roberts had referred to, and one of which is the National Endowment for Democracy, MED, as it's referred to. And you can go to my ushijacked.com blog. I've got a post there on the first page that talks about it. And that's basically a neocon front. And you have John McCain, who's with the Republican Party, of course, and the GOP faction of MED. And they encourage revolutions like we saw with the Orange Revolution prior in Ukraine. And again, this is part of the NATO encirclement. 
that has been going on against Russia. If you keep in mind, when the Cold War had come to an end, there were agreements that were made between Gorbachev and the U.S. not to go into Russia's sphere of influence. And of course, that's the Soviet Union and the former Soviet states of Georgia and Ukraine. And right after that, the neocons and the rest of the Israel lobby basically pushed to not only get the NATO encirclement with Georgia and Ukraine, but also the anti-missile defense, which they claimed was a defense against Iranian missiles. But anybody who looked at it objectively knew that it was against Russia. And any of those anti-missile interceptors could have been used offensively. If you use the tools below this video to share this video with as many people as you can, we can get this message out on a large scale.